when anisotropic materials like Hill 48 is used, you have to define the material orientation in the first, second, and third direction. This process can be very simple for a plate-like geometry, but uh, it is not that trivial when you are uh, defining the orientation in a three-dimensional curved surface. In this video, I will show you how to define the material orientation in a three-dimensional curved geometry as well as in a two-dimensional curved geometry. Let's start with the plate geometry. According to the global coordinate system, this is the x direction, this is the y, and along the thickness is the z direction. If you draw the geometry such that the material orientation first, second, and third is in accordance with the global orientation, or a coordinate system, you can uh, define the material orientation just uh, by clicking uh, orientation, selecting the geometry, done, and then from here, just select global and OK. So, and by that, this uh, by the name global, your material orientation is defined according to the same orientation of the global coordinate system. But for this 3D geometry, if this is the first material orientation along the streamline and the second material orientation is along the arc of this geometry and the third material orientation is perpendicular to this um, surface, that means uh, the thickness is the third material orientation. To define such a material orientation, we will again go to orientation select the whole geometry and uh, then use default orientation or other method we will use other method and the method would be discrete then we have to define this two quantity the first one if we go to edit is the normal to this surface so we will decide that uh, the normal or the third direction would be along the thickness so to do so we make sure it's a click at three. Then we will uh, select this upper surface. To do so, go here. And if uh, here it is uh, selected individually, then change it to by angle. Keep this one default. Now, if we select uh, the top surface here, the whole surface, including these curves, will be selected. So now, if we say done, that means the third direction would be normal to this whole surface. So see how it is normal to here, but at the same time, it's again normal to uh, at this point around here. So it's always along the thickness direction that we have the third material orientation. Now, again, let's say uh, along this arc is our second material orientation. So we can say uh, that is primary axis, select uh, second, and then uh, select this or this any edge. So let's select this particular edge and done. And by that, the second material orientation would be along this uh, arc of uh, any given uh, cross section. Now, by default, when we have defined the third direction to be normal to this surface, and the second direction to along the, this arc, the first direction will be by default along this streamline. And by that, we have made sure that our material orientation is as we want. For example, you can see this is the second direction, this is the first direction, and out of plane is the third direction. You can see the normal here at any point. So first direction goes here, and normal to that along the arc is the second direction. Same for here, the first direction, second direction, and the third direction is again along the normal. And by that, you are done with defining your material orientation. Now for this 2D curved geometry, it's a little bit simpler. So click here, select uh, the geometry, and then done. And then again, while we define, we will define this to be discrete. And uh, when we go to define here, we can only define one quantity. So in this case, I will define this to be my first material orientation. So first material orientation, and then select 
a surface so again make sure it's by angle and by default it's 20 and by doing that you can select the whole edge at a time and then if we say done we don't have to do anything else continue and here you have the first material orientation is along the curvature and the second material orientation is along the thickness so before we end I will just briefly show you the material that uh, being used here and uh, the material is a uh, hill 48 and indeed it is a uh, anisotropic material and uh, the definition is here the hardening curve here and the potential for uh, the uh, anisotropy at different direction is uh, given here 